hi loves welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so today i'm just going to be doing like my little easy version of a crown braid really quickly i'm not going to go into details about what i'm doing to my hair because today is part two to the q a okay so yeah let's get into these questions i first want to say go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because you know it's about to be good also go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and checking out this video yeah so let's get into it question number one okay so question number one was by miss Lawana Bennett and she said I love your hair I love your gorgeous hair my questions are how often do you oil your scalp how did you achieve so much length and last do you use a hair do you brush your hair with a boar bristle brush to skim stimulate my scalp um so for one thank you so much for the compliment girl and two um i'm not sure what the what a boar bristle brush is but um no i don't do anything really for scalp stimulation as you guys can see here i kind of just rub product through my scalp myself and it really just feels so good when i just do it like that so i don't really use like a particular brush for stimulation no and um the second question was how often do you oil your scalp i oil my scalp well i grease my scalp you guys know i'm more of a grease girl I grease my scalp every time I wash my hair. I also grease my scalp whenever my hair is feeling dry. It's not like something I do every three days or every two days or something like that. However, I am going to be... um moisturizing my scalp more often as well as like putting my hair up and keeping it up and out of the way as you guys know i'm um kicking it up a notch on my hair growth journey um as well as just trying to decrease the amount of shedding that i'm receiving right now so generally i wa i grease my scalp when i wash my hair or when my hair is dry um, I'm not on like a set schedule and how did you achieve so much length girl you have to watch this video as well as my most recent three videos because I'm really going into details about how to retain length and stuff like that in those videos. All right, moving on to question number two and question number two is from my girl. I'm going to put her name on the screen because I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but she is one of my big supporters. Like She's always commenting on my videos and watching my channel, so I just want to say thank you so much, girl. But her question was, hi, Tamara. I have three questions. Being a hair guru, do you feel that you have to keep up with other YouTubers and the trends, such as using rice water and expensive products? And to answer that question, like a hair guru is something I never considered myself being. But I mean, thank you. I take it as a compliment and it's definitely a goal of mine as my channel begins to grow. But no, I really don't find myself keeping up with trends and stuff like that because I know what works for me. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of the trends and a lot of the things that I see these ladies do on these videos to grow their relaxed hair, I would love to try it. It does seem interesting, but I work full time. I have two kids. I have a bonus daughter. I have a husband like... I don't have time for like a two hour wash day, if you get what I'm saying, like, or an hour prep before I wash my hair and then wash my hair and then like a treatment afterwards for another hour. Like, I would be up all night doing my hair because most of the times when I do my hair, I have to do it at night. So, no, I don't feel pressure to follow the trends because, or use expensive products because I use inexpensive products and they're working for me just fine at the moment. Not saying I will never try more expensive products, but no, I don't feel pressured to follow the trends because my hair is flourishing, doing what I'm doing. Not saying anything is wrong with them, but I'm, I'm okay. You know, I don't feel any pressure to do that. The second question she asked is, do you get tired of people asking, is it your real hair and how do you respond? 
Um, no, I don't really get tired of people asking me that. And, and I try my best to be like a humble person because it is hair. Like it can, something can happen and I lose my hair tomorrow. So I try not to let my hair give me a big head. So if somebody's like, is that your hair? I'm just like, yeah, girl, or something like that. You know, I try not to be cocky about it when I respond. I try to respond in the most humble way. Like, yes, you know, and I actually want to get some business cards for my YouTube channel because I get questions about my hair all the time. Like, what do you use this, that, and the third? I had three people ask me at church Sunday. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to start passing out business cards. So from now on, when I get a hair compliment, girl, I'm not answering these questions, okay? Go check out my YouTube channel. <laughs> all right, and the third question she asked is, what are the hair channels you like to watch and off the top of my head, I don't know, but I will put the names of those ladies' channels on the screen because I do watch some amazing hair channels on YouTube. All right, this next question is from Taylor. It says, do you have a different moisturizer routine in the winter? I'm a straight hair natural and I have been trying to cut down on the breakage. So I recently did a winter hair care routine. So if you haven't checked that video out, Taylor, definitely check it out. But my tips for the winter are, you know, don't fall into the silk press season trend, baby. Your ends will split. If you put heat on your ends all winter, these winter winds are not going to play with you. Okay. And also tip number two is I like to make sure my hair is very moisturized in these winter months because my skin gets dry my scalp gets dry it's just a whole dry situation and um yeah make sure your hair is moisturized don't put too much heat on your hair and be cautious of these winter winds they are literally no joke um in the next comment, I just wanted to read to you all because I thought it was so sweet and I thought it was so funny. Like, I laughed so hard at her comment. This comment is from, um, I'm going to put her name on the screen. I don't know how to pronounce it, but hey, girl. And she said, love the tips. Also, people must stop using relaxer too often. Back in the day, we thought getting a relaxer every three weeks was the best. But as you know it, people were walking around nearly bald. LOL, love the video. So, yeah, I just thought that was so funny the first time I read it because, y'all, I used to get a relaxer every six weeks. I forgot to mention that in my last video, but I used to get a relaxer every six weeks. Please stretch your relaxer. I have heard so many things like, it's no point this, that, and the third. Like, you can still protect your hair and get a relaxer often. I'm telling you from experience. Stretch your relaxer, boo. Stretch your relaxer. You do not need one every six weeks. All right, y'all. So these are all the questions that I have. Thank you guys so much for submitting questions for part two of this video. And also thank you so much for your support of part one of the video. That video is doing really well right now. So thank you so much for your support. Also, please give this video a thumbs up, okay? Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and chop it up with me in the comments. You guys know I love when you comment on my videos and I always respond to all of my comments. All right, I'm going to see you guys in my next one and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for stopping by and seeing what your girl was talking about. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.